gonna first open up command prompt give you a message and it's gonna proceed to turn off windows defender I already recorded this video and five minutes into editing it, I realized my mic wasn't even on. So take two. Getting into computer science and with a passion for technology as a whole, hacking has always been a thing that's interested me. In particular, scripting. A script is a small program that's executed usually by other existing applications to make some small action happen. This action could be automating a task or customizing an application. You ever see in movies when people plug in a USB and a bunch of stuff starts happening happening on the computer without them even touching the keyboard. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to show you how to run Python scripts to automate keystrokes on Windows. As an added bonus to my research, I've also put this script on a USB drive and with the help of some additional dependencies, was able to configure it to run when you plug the USB drive into a system. This is not the best way to do lethal injections. For those, a rubber ducky is recommended. The difference between your standard USB drive and a rubber ducky is that a rubber ducky is recognized by your computer as an HID device, whereas a USB device is just recognized as storage. The main caveat with running a Python script on a USB device is that it cannot gain administrative access of a computer. Since the UAC or user account control pop-ups don't allow third-party inputs unless they're from an HID device, I'm just gonna plug this USB drive into my laptop and show you guys what it does and show you where the limitation lies. All right, so I'm on my school laptop and as you can tell it's huge we're just gonna plug this usb drive right here and notice that i will not touch the keyboard but stuff will start happening and there we go it's gonna first open up command prompt give you a message and it's gonna proceed to turn off windows defender Now this is where the script actually stops. This is a user account control pop-up and UAC is configured to not allow any third party inputs. So even though I have in my script to go left and enter on the yes button, it won't continue running the script once it gets to this pop-up. But pretty interesting, right? Without touching the keyboard, the script opened up, typed a little warning message and command prompt, and then proceeded to turn off Windows Defender, which if you don't know, is responsible for recognizing and mitigating any malware in your system. I plugged in the USB drive to edit it, and it's running the script on my desktop now. So if we look at the contents of the USB drive, it's pretty simple. We have three files. There's an uh-oh.py, which is just for editorial purposes. The executable version of that, which I will show you how to turn this into an executable. And we have a batch file, autorun.n. The batch file basically just tells Windows to look for this exe file and once windows finds it it will run it i'll just quickly show you the format of the auto run file because it's pretty simple you just want to put in brackets auto run semicolon open equals the file name uh-oh.exe shell execute equals uh-oh.exe and then autoplay equals one because we just want the application to run one time. You can do this with any application. This is kind of like a dual tutorial. You don't have to use a script. If you want a USB drive to load a video game when you plug it in, then you can also do that as well. I'm going to show you the contents of the Python file, and then I'll show you to turn it into an EXE file. The reason we turn it into an EXE file is so that you can run the script without any additional dependencies. If I don't have the library that we're gonna use in this Python file on another computer, then the EXE will handle that. In our Python file, you see that we have two libraries. That's all you really need. The only one that you have to install is pyautogy, which you can just open up terminal real quick and do pip install pyautogy. I'm not going to run it because it's already installed for my system. Once you have these two libraries installed, it's all about playing around and trial and error. Really map out what you're trying to do. Are you trying to make an auto run script for a video game? Are you trying to automate some drawings? I first mapped out a route to CMD by doing the window key and then it writes CMD in the search bar. I did the same thing for Windows Security as well. This interval here makes it so that when it writes Windows Security, there is a 0.025 second interval in between each letter. If you don't include the second parameter in the write function, it'll just write as quick as possible. You can use mouse coordinates and clicks as well, but since applications don't always open in the same locations, I chose to opt for tab and the arrow keys. But with the consistent environment such as Photoshop, I could see where mouse clicks and movement would come into play. For example, you can have a script that draws a certain shape. Now that you have your Python script 
and you are happy with it, let's turn it into an executable. Go to the location where your Python file is stored, right click in the dead space and go open in terminal. This will open a PowerShell and put you in the directory of your Python file. Also make sure you have pip installed. This video is assuming that you have pip installed, but if not, a quick Google search will answer all your questions. It's not that hard to install. The next library we're going to install is pip install pi installer. Once you have pi installer installed, <laughs> pi installer installed, we're going to type pi installer dash w dash dash one file and then the name of your python file run this and it should give you an executable file if you're confused on where it is look in the folder called dist or distribution it should be in there you can honestly just delete the build folder because you don't need it if you're wondering what these arguments are dash w is for window and this basically makes it so your program runs without command prompt needed and this is especially helpful for scripts because every time you run your script you may not want command prompt to open if you're in the middle of a game and you run a script it's gonna <laughs> overlay over your game dash dash one file just makes it into one executable file so it might be a little bit larger but it doesn't need any additional dependencies now that you have your exe file we need to prep the usb to be auto run we've already gone over the batch file but there's one more thing that we need to do to the usb drive go down in the description and there is a usb initializer like auto run program once you have it installed it'll look something like this wow it's really hard to show stuff on my crazy background huh but right here we're gonna open it up and it's gonna look something like this click next agree and you're gonna want to install all this stuff right here i'm not gonna install it because i've already prepped the usb drive once you've done that try unplugging your usb drive and plugging it back in and see what happens if you run into an error make sure that you followed every step in the video if you're still running into an error leave a comment down below and i'll try to assist you as best i can thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i'm really sorry this one took a little bit longer my first recording didn't have audio and i started editing it without even realizing it didn't have audio i don't even know how but we're good now i hope you guys have a great day keep learning stay humble and i'll see you guys in the next video